It has been a while since I have been this impressed with one of my test drives. Now we just put over 800 miles on this top of the line, Grand Wagoneer Series 3 Obsidian, covering long stretches of both highway and rural road driving. And I haven't anything but admiration for what Jeep has accomplished here. And this new Hurricane engine will have you asking, who needs a Hemi? I mean, this here is the perfect embodiment of the luxurious large SUV. Call me jaded, but I don't fall in love with as many of the testers as I used to. Now this one here though is an exception. Now I've already tested a Grand Wagoneer back when it first arrived for the 2022 model year, but this one here is even more impressive. Why? Well, because the blacked out Obsidian package is now available on this ultra luxurious Series 3 trim. And there's a new standard engine on the bougiest Grand Wagoneers like this one, a 510 horsepower twin turbo V6 named Hurricane. Yep, you gotta love those creative minds over at Stellantis. Now the V8 remains a no cost option, but just because you think it sounds cool to have a Hemi, I'd highly recommend sticking with this three liter masterpiece. Though it does require premium gas, while the Hemi merely prefers it, the Hurricane is considerably more powerful, fuel efficient, and refined. And it's a downright beast when you hammer it. Now, my last Grand Wagoneer test came with the Hemi, an awesome engine indeed, but this new twin turbo inline six is phenomenal. It is smooth, it is quiet, it is torquey, and it makes this very large SUV feel effortlessly quick. I'm also averaging over 19 MPG, which is by no means shabby. This eight speed auto shifts without any perceptible interruption in power. The ride quality is beyond reproach and the steering and handling make it feel like a much smaller, nimbler SUV. As the premium extension of the Jeep brand, a Grand Wagoneer like this one carries a six figure price tag and yet seems like a bargain. At 116,530, this all-in Series 3 model integrates cutting-edge technology with luxurious trimmings in benchmark fashion. Now, the European brands could really learn a thing or two from Jeep about how to seamlessly blend boutique and electronic, because this is exceptional execution. And yes, I'm looking at you, Land Rover. The Grand Wagoneer is heavy on screens, even one for the front seat passenger but they all serve a purpose while possessing intuitive controls. It's oven fresh too, with a multitude of video and audio streaming options. I mean, I personally love the inclusion of the digital Sirius XM channels like Wonderland that you can't usually dial up in other vehicles. And then there's the plethora of information pages from off-road to massage, and it's all presented in a wow-inducing yet simple to use manner. This Grand Wagoneer's interior is more aesthetically appealing, easier to use, and more versatile than anything else you will find in this segment. The quality touch points, the details, the exceptional occupant experience, it is all here and at the highest level. And you can tell that this interior design has been thoroughly vetted by just how perfectly every little aspect of it works. It is exceptionally well done. The Grand Wagoneer is, of course, big. I mean, big enough to take a first-year college student to campus. See you, Maddie. Now, we've got the third-row seat folded for massive cargo space. And remember, a longer version is available in true garage-busting fashion if you need even more room. But when these seats are upright, these way-back seats offer a true adult-friendly third row. I'm talking anyone, six-footers included. This one is incredibly spacious and feels less claustrophobic thanks to the big windows. So every seat in the house is a good one. Okay, it's the nitpick portion of the video, even though there are very few things in here that I take umbrage with. One of which could be the infotainment system, which can be a little laggy at times. And with features such as the surround camera buried in there with no exterior button, that can be frustrating. Secondly, it would be nice if you could lower this quadralift air suspension from the cargo area for easier loading. There is no button back here. And lastly, Chrysler has always positioned, and you can save me the Stellantis comments, please. They've always put their close button for the lift gate inside the vehicle as opposed to on the lift gate itself. 
not the preferred location. I also wish it had some hands-free driving like Super Cruise, but otherwise, the Grand Wagoneer can do it all. Robust off-road tools, on-road brilliance, and the complete rolling living room experience that is the Series 3. Replete with the mind-blowing 23-speaker Macintosh entertainment system. I would take one of these in a heartbeat over any of the competition. So step aside, Yukon Denali. The Grand Wagoneer can't be topped. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.